Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my first alternative using the November 2019 paper pumpkin kit. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to make. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope by the end of this video that you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here again. I got the brand new paper pumpkin kit in the mail yesterday and this kit lets you make 24 adorable little tags. But because I don't really need gift tags, I thought that I would show you how you could turn these into cards this month. This video will hopefully be the first of four or five that I make alternatives using this month's kit. For today's card, I am going to kind of recreate the sled with the silver deer tag, but I'm going to make it into a full size card. Let me go ahead and show you what we'll be using today. Here in front of me are the basic supplies that I will be using. Now if I do add anything later in the video, I will try to remember to let you know. But the pieces from the kit that I plan on using are the silver thread that came with the kit, the shaded spruce stampin' spot, four of the holly leaves, two of the little branches, the sled, some of the white kind of iridescent sequins, the larger blue fishtail banner, the white rectangle, my silver deer, and from the stamp set, I'm going to use the Let It Snow sentiment. I will also be using the adhesive that came with it, the mini dimensionals and the glue dots, and later I might use some of my own adhesive too. For the non-kit parts, I got out my Cuddlebug Snowflakes Embossing Folder, a piece of heavyweight white cardstock, and a piece of red cardstock. Now I don't have Stampin' Up! cardstock, but if you have Stampin' Up! and you have the really red, I believe that's the color that you'll want to use. When I get started on the process, I will go to a voiceover. If I leave you with any questions, make sure to leave those in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and get crafty. Like with most of my projects, I will be doing the cutting first. For the white piece of cardstock, I cut it in half to four and a quarter by 11 inches, and then I folded this in half to be my card base. From the scrap that was left over, I cut one piece of white that was three and five eighths inches wide by four and seven eighths inches tall, and then I cut a second piece of white cardstock that was three and three quarters inches wide by one and a half inches tall. I then also cut two pieces from my red cardstock. The first piece was three and three quarters inches wide by five inches tall, and the second piece was three and three quarter inches wide by one and five eighths inches tall. To add some texture to all of the white space on the card, I will be using that snowflake embossing folder on both pieces of white cardstock. I sent the first one through just like normal portrait, and then to ensure that the smaller one had a good emboss on it as well, I went ahead and put that in portrait just to make sure it was embossed from side to side. Once those pieces were embossed, I got out my ATG and matted each of those with their coordinating red cardstock pieces. You might notice that it is a pretty small border, and that is just because since I don't have the exact same red as on the sled, I didn't want much to show, but I did want that to stand out from the card background. I do know that the kit came with lots of Stampin' Up! dimensionals, but because they're the mini ones, I am actually going to save as many as I can. So I pulled out my big blue roll of foam tape. I get this on Amazon and it is super economical. 
It's about the same thickness as Stampin' Up! Dimensionals, so later it should match up nice with the different heights. Now, if you want to check this out, I do have it linked in the description box below. Now that the card base is ready, it's time to go ahead and start decorating it. I will be using the silver thread from the kit, and I measured out just a little bit over 8 inches. I probably didn't need that much because I make my handle pretty short so it doesn't hang off the top of the card too much. All I did was put a double knot on each side, and then I trimmed off the excess so my tails were even. To get my sled onto my card base, I'm going to use a combination of the mini dimensionals as well as my blue foam tape. You'll notice that I put the mini dimensionals there on the very top of the sled, and then because the other area is larger, I'm just going to get that blue foam tape out again, put a couple strips on the back, and then I'll adhere this centered on my card front. And now it is time to do the stamping. I inked up the stamp with the shaded spruce ink spot. And then because this is a new stamp, I wanted to see how well it stamped before I use my tag that came with the kit. It did stamp very nicely, so I go ahead and ink it up and stamp it right onto my rectangle piece of white. If you ever have a new clear stamp that stamps kind of splotchy, one thing that I do sometimes is ink it up with a clear embossing ink first, like Versamark, and then put my colored ink on top. Sometimes that helps with the splotchiness. The next thing I'm going to do is add that second embossed piece to the card front. Because the sled is on dimensionals on the card front, I will be only adhering the foam tape on each end of this strip. Once that was placed down, it was time to finish decorating the card using elements from the kit. The first thing I'll be using is the little silver deer, and I use my ATG as well as some of the mini glue dots from the kit to only adhere the parts of the deer that will be touching either the sled or that embossed strip of paper. Because I already have a couple layers of dimensionals or foam tape, I decided to go ahead and hear my sentiment just flat down onto the card. I had almost forgot that I had planned on using some holly leaves on this card, but as soon as I saw my sentiment adhere to the card front, I knew I needed something to tie in that shaded spruce ink on the sentiment. So I am adding three holly leaves and two of those green leafy things. To adhere the holly to the card front, I put two of the mini glue dots on the back of each one, and then because the little leaves were so fine, I placed a mini glue dot on the front bottom of the holly leaf so it would be hidden by the sled, and I just tacked down the very bottom of those leaves to that glue dot. Once those first two holly were placed, I then added a third one on the bottom right of the card, and for this one I did not add the fine leafy detail. To finish the card off and to add a little sparkle, I placed three of the iridescent sequins around the front of the card. You'll notice that I used two of the littler ones and then one of the larger ones there by the sentiment. And here are some close-up looks at the finished card. I hope you like getting to see how I made my first alternative for the month. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye. 
Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools that I use in the video, I do have some links in the description box.